And today we'll have a bit of fun and look at some Asian session trading setups from the past week, things that worked well, things that didn't go well. I'll show you how I pick my setups to trade and it's gonna be a good video. Right, so this is a strategy that I trade on the five minute chart and 15 minute charts on mostly Asian pairs in the Asian sessions. Now, I'll say mostly because I also trade it on GPUSD. Usually you can have some good setup in this one with less fake outs. So I'll show you a bit of how that works out. But we'll have a quick look here at the five minute chart. So I have my custom indicator here on TradingView, which I use to spot the setups. If you want to see the rules of the strategy, I'll put a video here in the corner so you can check it out. It's going to show you exactly the rules that I use, the stuff that I look for. Uh, so you can do it by yourself. But here I'm to look for this video at only the setups and kind of go quickly on the rules. So I don't want to bore you too much and kind of go with the details of the strategy. Now uh, you can watch this in the other video. But today we'll get some setups together instead. All right, so what we do is we identify the range from roughly 3 a.m. So this is uh, my time here in, in Asia. Uh, to 7 a.m. So it's a bit before the Asian session starts. It's basically four hours before the Asian session starts in Tokyo. So it's at 7 a.m. my time, 8 a.m. Tokyo time. And what we want to do is we want to look for a breakout from that point. So we look at the range. In this particular scenario here on Thursday, we had a bit of a range, but not too much. We had a range that was fairly clear in the beginning. Then we kind of start to break the highs. Okay, so good idea will have some, some ranges. Now usually it's less volatile here in the beginning and more volatile here afterward in this session. So what if we do in that case is we can look for breakouts of that range. Keep it very simple. If I do it manually, I would want to look at the range a bit better. With this script, it's very simple because it kind of draws the range for, for us directly. And then we can just respect that range. It's a lot easier. So here we go. And we have a breakout. Now there's going to be a lot of fake outs in the agent session. So we don't want to take these trades. We want to wait for the right trade to enter on the other breakout. And the way we do this is we have a rule for the pullback. So we wait for a price that will break the range. Then we wait for a small pullback to enter. Then we turn the market if you could use above or setup candle. In that case, did it. We had a quick breakout, came back down, so we don't have a trade in that case. Now here we come back to this level again, right? We have price pushing back up again, hitting that resistance once again. Now it could reverse again and not break out, or it could break higher and continue on that breakout. Now our job is to look for the setup and make sure we have a break above this high over here. Okay, otherwise we still have a price that's within this range. You can notice how we had a bigger range before. So we have this high right here, then we can back retest this high again. So it's pretty clear that the market is going to retest this high. But if you have a breakout above this, then we could have a really good setup in that case. So let's continue. We have price making some wicks. Now what I'll do is I want to have a close above this wick over here. And we kind of had this over here, this kind of stick right there. So what that means is once price breaks above the high with the with the body of the candlestick, you have a strong chance to go higher. Okay, that's our first rule for the breakout. The second rule is we've got to confirm with the pullback. Once we have a breakout, what we do is wait for a candlestick that doesn't make a new high as a pullback candlestick. So here we go. We have this one ne right next to it. Okay. So it's a bearish candlestick, which made this high lower than the previous high before. So we don't kind of make high, higher highs. We actually come back down a little bit, do a quick pullback, and then we want to enter beyond that. So our entry, we just above this setup kind of stick over here. I'll be more kind of, I'll be more conservative. I'll put it just above over here, just to be safer. That'll be our entry. I can take a bit of time to go there. That's fine. So I'll give it like three or four candlesticks to break this high. Uh, if you want to be more aggressive, you can do only one to two candlesticks just to make sure that you have a good setup appearing in the market. Or you can do three, four, like wait for a few candlesticks to, to, to hit that. Then you enter that trade. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, see we kind of push, we actually have one, two, three, then we hit our entry right over here. Okay, so this is our entry signal right there, above the high of the wicks that we had before. Our stop loss will be very simple, below the candlestick breaking the range, in this case is this one over here, but we could be more conservative, put it over here, just below right there. Okay, so you can decide where you want to put your stop loss. Uh, my script here by default says stop loss is here, but that's placed in the ATR, and I don't want to risk that much in this trade. I want to be more tight on my stop loss. So I'll put it right over here. Or if you want to be more aggressive, just put it over here. Then we've got this trade moving in the favor pretty quickly. Okay, see, we kind of move up, we go up, we come back a bit to retest over here, but overall we just went up. Now, this is the same trade I've, I've showed you, except when it was a bit later on this one. So I was waiting for a break of this high, uh, but that would be the trade we're looking for here. So we enter right there and put a stop loss red over here to be more conservative. And our risk reward is usually one to one as a partial take profit. 
and then two to one or three to one for a second take profit. So we have some room here to let us really go in our favor. Uh, all of them on one to one will be hit. So one to one is our main target because that's the one that we get the most hit on. Uh, two to one can happen sometimes or always. So we want to try to move a stop loss to break even at one to one. Uh, but here we have one to one, two to one will be over here. And that one in that day was also reached quite well. Now, this strategy won't be always that easy. This is a good example, uh, but you have some days where it's a bit more conflicting. Here on Friday was one of those days. Okay, so we have our range here, which we went kind of down a little bit in the early sessions. We came from here to there, went down, we hit a low for our range. Then we were high from here 3 a.m. right there. So technically, if you want to look at the script we have, our range high will be here. If you want to look at it on a more kind of discretionary basis, our low will be over here and our higher range will be here. Because really, we didn't really touch this level. This one is just where we were before. We had a big drop. Uh, so our higher range will be here. Now, if we do it like this, we have a better chance of catching a breakout. If we do it the other way with the script, we'll have a kind of a more choppy session in a much wider range in that case. So you gotta be careful. Uh, this, these scripts on trade you kind of help you out to spot the trades better, but then it's like a full complete solution. They can have some things you can modify. You gotta be a bit discretionary about it, uh, especially when it's hard to code like all the things happening in the market and all these kind of patterns. I would use a bit more discretion in that case. So this means that actually, if we do the way of the script here, uh, we pretty much had no breakout for the whole, the whole week. So we had this breakout here of the range. Then we wait for a pullback and stick which is on this one because we make a new high. Now it's actually not this one, it's this one over here because we didn't make a new high. But it means you gotta enter the market right over here, which price level went to. If we do it with the other way, which is the way of our range over here, we might have some better chance of catching a breakout. We kind of have a couple of weeks there. So let's see how this goes out. We have our range over here, we're just gonna draw this over there. We have a very tight range, it's good. We have our wick breaking out over here. Not an entry for this one because I want to have the body closing beyond the range. So continue. Here we want to close beyond that wick over here. We didn't close there. And we only have a setup sell over here. Bullish candlestick, quite a big wick, but closing above this wick over here, which is a good sign for a breakout. Again, we're waiting for our pullback, pullback candlestick, which is a candlestick that doesn't make a new high. This one makes a new high. This one uh, makes a new high also. This one made a new high. This one made also a new high, this one also, and this one also. So we kind of really didn't have any move there to catch in this market, okay? Uh, very tricky day in this kind of condition here. Even though we have a different range, we have no entry because price just went to shoot up and then it didn't come back down forever. Uh, but that day was more tricky because see we have price coming back within the range, right over here. And then we got price moving in the range, not going anywhere else. And then trade to break out once again, but then we have these highs that we tried to break out of, and that's not gonna happen. So I would wanna wait for these highs to get hit or get broken out of before I take any trade in this market. Because see, we just have a breakout, come back down, then we stay there, then we go back the other way. Again, big move, probably based on the news. Then we just stay there, we have a pullback, then we all go back within that low anymore to take a trade. So very tricky day in that kind of situation. We just went all the way up and down, up and down, sideways conditions, and that's just very hard to trade these kind of market points sideways. Again, these breakouts don't happen every day, but when they happen and they work, that's where you make your money. So let's have a look at GPC, another pair that I trade quite often, which has less fake out usually than the other Asian pairs. Like the GPY pair tend to kind of fake out more. This pair is more of a, of course, US and uh, London pair, but still works quite well for these breakouts. Now I'll show you this one on the 15 minute chart, which is different than the five minutes a little bit. It's a bit more slow, but it's pretty cool to trade that way also because it's a bit more relaxed. You can take your time to look at setups and trades. It's a lot more hands off, which is kind of, kind of cool. I can usually trade this pretty well when I work. So I'm gonna do something else, gonna like maybe do other stuff. And I'm gonna be able to take some trades when they happen based on the loads I receive from TradingView. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so we have a clear range, very nicely done range here. I'm gonna leave the uh, drawings here so you can see the range clearly. But we can see we have a very clear range in that time, okay? Now we had a fake breakout here, a weak trend to go out of the range, but we came back within. Then we have a very quick breakout. Like you right over here, this is uh, 45 minutes after we start the session, very quickly. Can see breaking above the high, right there. So our pullback in our safe is something you have to wait for, and that's gonna come a little, bit, a little bit later perhaps. But for now, we had a good move on this one. So what I'll do is I'll put our stop loss just below here, casting breaking the range. 
one should be where we have a pullback, which is not this one, not this one, not this one either, but actually this one. So if we go above this, then we can enter the market, uh, which in that case we didn't. We came back down and stayed there for a while. Okay, then we had a news, which of course kind of pushed us out quickly. So if we were on a trade, we would have been able to get lucky on this one. But in this case, we didn't. We stayed there and kind of went sideways for the whole period. Another example is right over here. So we can see we have a clear range before the session starts. This is four hours before again, 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. my time in Thailand. And I'm just gonna draw my range very clear based on this tool over here. We had a first breakout here. Wick breaking out, uh, doesn't count. Again, a wick, okay, a body a bit more clear, but then we have no continuation there, so we'll just skip that trade. Came back within the range, okay. Still, we respect the range very clearly here. We came back, uh, our low is right there. And then we have another false breakout, a little bit, we still respect the range, which is good. Uh, that's, gonna, that's, that's the kind of stuff you wanna see. It's more clear, more precise. You have a good chance of having a good breakout with good momentum, where you respect the range really clearly. Here's where it gets interesting. And the first kind of thing that's gonna break the range is this one right here. Okay, so it's very clear. Uh, you could also say it's gonna be this one over here, which is also fair because this one is very clearly breaking the range. Uh, both of them will be fine, okay. I'm going to, if I take a trade, put my stop loss just below this low over here, just to make it safe. Okay, and here we have our next candlestick, makes a new high, and this one will be a pullback candlestick here, doesn't make a new high. So this will be our entry right there, or we can enter just above over here. Okay, stop loss is pretty big, but the one to one could be easily hit on this one. And then this is trigger next candlestick right here. So we'll just put our handy tool, this goes right there. And we target, of course, one to one and two to one. One to one, we get there. We move our stop loss to break even to be just safe on this trade, which we always do. Then we kind of move this here for two to one. Two to one is right here. Okay. See how this is easy to achieve on this pair because we had a strong range, strong, we tested the, the range multiple times. They will break out here from momentum and we just get there so easily. So, another good example on this pair, which is better than what we had before on the Friday, of course, which we didn't really kind of get on anything, but this is a good example of what you can do with this kind of strategy and how it works out on different pairs. Any questions on this, if you know the cost section below, I'll be happy to help out as always and give you some thoughts and ideas on how to trade better. If you're not subscribed yet, I post these videos three times a week, one to give you a Sunday. The videos in the week where I teach you stuff about trading, my own experience, things you can learn and help you become a better trader. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.